okay fine so the next uh, cosmetic product that is the hair dye or the hair color again uh, if i say that what is the color of the dye or the color of the hairs the generally the answer will come that black hairs isn't it but if i say pink hair or red hair or green hair isn't it it might be funny but uh, it is uh, the that became the reality in today's world because say if uh, we are going for using the different kinds of cosmetic product we can go for altering the color of our even hairs also so that is uh, the preparation which is said to be the hair color preparation or the hair dye preparation isn't it so different kinds of uh, color preparation you will going to find into the market and uh, so what does these uh, hair dye or the hair color mean hair dye or hair color that is a cosmetic product that is applied to the hair either to uh, either to cover gray or white hairs or for special purposes so in case of uh, movies and all the different kinds of celebrities they will use these uh, kinds of the preparations they may be for the temporary purpose or for the uh, intermediate or for say the longer period of time right but the basic uh, reason or the generally the dye preparation which we will going to find into the market these are the uh, of the black colored one isn't it because that is the natural color of the hair and if there is a graying of the hairs if there is a whitening of the hairs because of the uh, insufficient production of the black color imparting pigment to that of the hair then in that case it is very necessary to give color to that of the hairs so that is the purpose that is the hair dye these are for covering the gray or white hairs or for special purposes as i say is that like say occasionally or say for say some kinds of the acts and all isn't it so just for temporary purpose there is a need to go for coloring of the hairs hair colors are also used especially by new generation to do a fashion yes this is most important it became the fashion funda as far as the hair color that became the or that the, that became the fashion in today's date then the ideal properties of the hair dyes are concerned it should impart the same color like say the color for which uh, we had chosen a particular kind of hair dye preparation let us say for example if you want to make the colors black it should give the black color if you want to make the color gray they should make the gray color gray color if you want to make the color red they should make the red color so that is it should impart the same color which is indicated on its label right it must color the hairs only and not the skin it should produce its effect specifically on to the hairs and not on to the skin the color that it impart to the hair that must be stable to air light water and the shampoos isn't it if it is temporary it's okay just in one washing that should get removed off but if it is a kind of permanent then that should not get affected because of the effect of air light water and the shampoos it should not be allergic and dermatitis sensitizer it should not produce allergies because these are the dye preparations right these are the chemical preparations so they should not produce their sensitivity on to that of the skin or to that of the individual it should impart color to the hair in a short contact time it should take less time just say within few minutes types of hair color there are different types of hair color like say temporary semi permanent permanent lighteners and the bleaches Tempor temporary color they do not penetrate into the hair or surrounding they can be easily rinsed off after one shampooing temporarily hair coloring some time these are used to apply finely ground metals by means of a puffer spray so the different kinds of the metals bronzes bronzes and aluminum both untreated and anodized in various colors it provide the metallic effect when applied to the hair and mainly for using the used for 
highlighting so generally the metal brasses and the bronzes or the aluminum these are used in order to temporarily color the hair the rinses and the aqueous and hydroalcoholic solutions of a simple dye stuff that is used in order to remove the temporary color in lotion dyes in solution with a transparent polymer 3% polyvinyl pyrrolidone in water or aqueous alcohol that is used the crayons are used either directly rubbed on to the wet hair or applied with the help of a hair brush in order to temporarily color the hair then there is a semi permanent colorant most of them are basic dye stuffs whose cationic character that will gives them a natural affinity for the hairs so metallized dye stuff in combination with the nitro derivatives of aromatic diamines or aminophenol these are generally used so shampoo that is the most commonly used the best and the performance of the colorant that can be enhanced by the inclusion of the solvent different solvent can be added the semi permanent dyes they will contain mainly either nitrophenylene diamine either nitro aminophenes or either amino anthroquinones so the basic difference between the uh, uh, temporary semi permanent and permanent is the duration for which it will remain on to the hair semi permanent they will remain for a intermediate duration of time whereas permanent they will remain for a longer period of time permanent hair these are the most popular kind of the hair dye product generally the dye intermediate that is along with the oxidizing agent that is to be used so primary intermediates and the coupling agents for the modifier in a suitable ways they need to be added and they will produce the color so generally the oxidation of the primary intermediate that will list that of the permanent hair color product formation permanent dye press systems that are able to dye hair a lighter shade than the original peroxide and ammonia these are present in excess to control oxidation of intermediates and simultaneously they will bleach the hair they cause some hair damage the permanent hair color they had their disadvantage that they will lead to that of the hair damage the reason is that as we move from temporary to semi permanent to permanent the ability of entering into the depth of hair that will goes on increasing the temporary they will remain just on to the Uh, surface of the hairs or they will just give coat to that of the hairs semi permanent they will somewhat enter into the outer layer of the hairs whereas the permanent they will enter deep inside that of the hair and uh, because of this uh, entry because of the presence of these different kind of chemicals like say peroxides and ammonia they will have their damaging effect onto that of the uh, hair follicle so that's why these are damaging to that of the hairs in most of the cases as far as the evaluation of these hair dye preparations are concerned so the first is the consistency that is the consistency with which they will remain it should not be too much viscous otherwise the application that will become too difficult and the consistency that should be minimum so that the after application it will not drain off so it should be uh, easy to apply in short what we can say spreadability it should be easily spreadable and it should cover the larger or the whole surface of the hairs hair dye should be easily spreadable so it can easily applied evenly color uniformity the color of the hair dye and hair color that should be uniform color shade should be remains same and gives desired color after application as far as the ph is concerned the ph that should be neutral so that it should not produce its effect onto that of the hairs so in short if we see in summary for today's talk what we have studied we have studied introduction to the shampoos formulation and evaluation and ideal properties of the shampoos then we saw introduction to the lipstick the raw material methods of preparation of the lipstick and evaluation of the lipstick last but not the least we had gone through the hair dye formulation and evaluation part of the hair dye so with this we will stop at this particular point